remember the time it snowed inside the tent? Yeah, yes. So I think it was extra cold last night because there's like snow and frost even on the side uh, canvas and stuff. And, and, and there's snow and frost up there. And as we started like talking and stuff and exhaling more, it started like lightly snowing inside the tent because we've been chatting here as we've waking up waiting for the sun to come up over the mountain. And it was exactly a year ago. Exactly, a year ago, Thanksgiving, when we were up at Eureka Dunes. It must have been in the high 20s or so. It was definitely pretty damn cold. Anyway, so this time around, we've got something to help us stay a little warmer. All right, so this is what it looks like. Uh, so it's a lot like a mattress pad. It's got little wires that go through it. You want to safety pin it in place so you don't risk kinking the wires and causing a short and a fire or any of that kind of bad stuff. Um, this size is perfectly sized for the roof nest falcon. This is the standard falcon size, not the XL or the new Pro, I guess, maybe bigger as well. Now, it's been running for a little bit. Can we actually feel it? You know, barely. Barely. We're, we're talking 60 watts. We're talking like the heat of a 60 watt light bulb spread out over this whole surface. You really don't feel it, even if you feel in for the wires, because there's no insulation here. The heat is just dissipating immediately. We gotta get some bedding on here, some insulation to go ahead and trap the heat. And then we can kind of feel the warmth building up. Fitted mattress pad in first, fitted flannel bottom sheet next. Hard to see here, but flat flannel top sheet. And let's go get the roof nest blanket. Anna, I need the blanket, okay? This thing is super lightweight, super compact once it squishes down, and it has really proved to be really nice and warm. If it's super, super cold, we'll bring an extra sleeping bag and like put that over us, as well as jackets or whatever else and stuff. And of course, now we have the Electro Warmth. Time to pack it up, close it down, and get it on top of the truck, and let's go out in the real world and see how it performs. This is the control box where we set the power levels and stuff. It's got a decent length cable, standard, you know, cigarette lighter plug. Down here on the gold zero, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in as a second output on the 12 volt circuit. We also have the cooler plugged in here, of course. Currently it shows zero watts output because the cooler is cycling right now. And now we're gonna go ahead and just crank it up to seven. There we go, let's crank it all the way up so it warms up for us while we're getting ready for bed. And back down here, we can see that it's uh, 65 watts output. 64 watts, 65 watts, roughly about that. So 65 watts, if you think about it, that's like a, like a 60 watt light bulb, right? And so while a 60 watt light bulb is hot to touch, if you spread that out over a big three foot by five foot square, right underneath all the bedding, it just, it's a, it's a very mellow warmth. And so I uh, can't wait to uh, find out how well it works. We're gonna get, get brush our teeth and, get all ready for bed for the next 15, 20 minutes and then go upstairs and see how it is. Oh, I can already feel it. Really? It's really radiating through the blanket. Oh. I can totally feel it. It's really nice, actually. <laughs> oh. oh, I can feel it already. Yeah. Interesting. It's, it's not super strong, but I can totally feel uh -huh. it's warmer than it should be. It's not stone Yeah, cold. definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a little control box here, right? We'll make sure this is inside, because this is actually a thermostat, right? So you don't want it to be just sensing the outside stone cold temperatures. Cool, nice. nice. So we got the window open for a little bit of air. Just huh? a little bit, yeah. Yep. Well, do you want to do the same? Just kind of airflow going? Well, I can't do it the same because I have the cable going through one corner, right? So I can't open uh, up my laptop. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> All right. Ooh. 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 Yeah. It's crazy warm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it feels good. Oh my God, I may need to start taking layers off. <laughs> okay, and we add the oh. top sleeping bag. <laughs> and we are going to be so warm. Yeah. Off now. I can turn it down. Yeah. Or, or turn it off, honestly. Turn it off because, yeah, this is maybe in the middle of the night when it kind of cools off again. I can turn it back on. When I get up, I have to go pee. But, yeah, but this is definitely, we don't need that. <laughs> all right, I am turning it all the way down. Nice preheat. Yeah, if nothing else, just as a uh -huh. preheater. Yeah. That were great. Uh -huh. oh. well, we'll see how long it will last. 
So the Electro Warmth heating pad worked fantastic last night. We really only used it like a couple of times. Initially for about a half an hour just to warm up the bed and the bedding uh, just when we were getting ready for bed. And then actually in the middle of the night when we had to go to the bathroom and went, you know, scuttling down the ladder and out into the cold, I just cranked it up full blast as we were out. So we came back to a nice toasty, cuddly, warm bedding. Uh, besides that, really didn't need it at all uh, overnight and so didn't use it tremendously, but the real big challenge is going to be Death Valley here in just about uh, two or three weeks time. Uh, it's going to be a lot colder, I suspect, way a lot colder. So if you want to see the final, <laughs> the final conclusion about how well it works and how awesome it is or not, uh, stay tuned. This video, I'll just do a little like review of the thing and, and post it up online and then stay tuned for kind of our normal travel video uh, for the Death Valley trip published, I presume, sometime in January. And uh, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be a great time, a lot of fun. Death Valley in the desert in the winter is, uh, is interesting. You know, you get the rain or snow. It's just an unusual environment out there in the desert. Everybody thinks just generally the desert is always hot. No, no, no. In the winter, it can get bitterly cold. Thanks for watching. Take care.